Today I'm going to show you how to make a creamy garlic mushroom sauce with Pecorino Romano cheese. Clean your mushrooms with a damp rag. And then cut off that little end that tends to be hard. Slice the mushrooms up into about a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch thick. Slice the garlic up. You could also mince it. Remove the stems from your parsley and then mince a couple tablespoons. Here I have a couple versions of Pecorino Romano cheese. Any of them are fine. Just grate up about a half a cup. You'll need a little bit more for later too. This is a real quick one. So I recommend that you get your pasta going right when you have your mushrooms done. Here are the mushrooms. They're ready to go. They're gonna sear up quickly. Heat a large pan to medium low, add a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and add the sliced garlic. After sauteing that garlic for a couple minutes, add in the mushrooms and turn heat to medium to medium high. After about five to seven minutes, the mushrooms will start to release their water and then they will start to brown more in the pan. Once that water releases from the mushrooms and the mushrooms are brown, season with a half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Bring a large pot of water to boil and add two tablespoons of kosher salt. Add the pasta to the pot and stir it well so it does not stick. I'm using fettuccine tonight for this one. This is Papadelli. And this is the one that, uh, this is the one that's on my website. I use Papadelli for the picture. And I honestly think fettuccine might be better. So if you can't find Papadelli, use fettuccine. Use whatever you like. You can use a short pasta too. It really doesn't matter. For a heavy sauce, normally you want to use a heavy, thick pasta. Pasta shape does play a does play an important role. This is a heavy sauce. We want a heavy pasta. You just you just get in there, you grab it. You know, you'll get your hands will too hard right now. We used to go to this Japanese restaurant. It was the best Japanese restaurant in Long Island, where I'm from. They just closed down. We don't know what happened. We don't know if it happened, something happened to the wife. It was a husband and wife. He was an amazing chef and he had hands of just like, you know, those chef hands. Like he would like put his hands in like frying oil and just grab whatever. And uh, 
just amazing. The more you cook pasta, the more easily you'll be able to just take a tongue and grab it right away and test it. All right, so I'm gonna put a couple cups of, not a couple cups, I'm gonna put a couple ladles, which is gonna be less than one cup of pasta water in here with the mushrooms and I turn the heat to medium. I'm doing this about three minutes prior to the pasta being finished, so then I can pull the pasta out and toss it right in the sauce. I'm using a half a pound of pasta, so the full recipe calls for a full pound. So everything I'm doing is reduced by half. I'm using a half a cup of cream right now. The written recipe has a full cup of cream. Add a half a cup of cream to the pan and cook over medium low heat. Add in the half a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese and stir to incorporate. Pasta is almost done. This is a little bit loose right now. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese. The pasta is al dente, and I'm gonna let it cook in the mushroom cream sauce for about a minute to two minutes. Test your pasta. If it starts to be, if it start, if it's cooked all the way, you gotta turn the heat off, you gotta serve. But this is pretty hard right now, so, but I, I can allow it to cook for a minute or two in this sauce right now. If it's too wet at the end right here, I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. And if you have a sauce that's too thick, you take a little bit of the pasta water. That's why you always save your pasta water and you just add a little bit. I'm turning my heat off right now. This is pretty much how I want it. It looks a little wet, but by the time you get your family down and everything, it's going to stiffen up dramatically. You really can't mess this one up because you have your pasta water and you have your cheese. You can make it thicker or looser at any time you want. The only thing you want to do now before you serve it is just taste it. My heat is off completely. It's basically a cross between fettuccine Alfredo and cacio pepe. Because normally fettuccine Alfredo uses par Parmesan Reggiano. This one I'm using Pecorino Romano, Pecorino Romano cream sauce, but I'm using, you know, cream and stuff that you wouldn't use in cacio pepe. That's phenomenal right now, all right? Phenomenal. You see that, how it's stiffening up? See that? A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.